Hey guys, so uh, welcome to um, the next Cutting the Caboose. Um, a little bit of a different one this time because I'm just having a rant and a moan and a bitch about life <laughs> in general. I'm in a foul mood today. Uh, my tooth broke yesterday. I haven't lost any weight today, so um, yeah, it's going to be a bit ranty and a bit sweary. Sorry. That's going to happen. Also, Suicide Squad. That really annoyed me because it was such a missed opportunity. Entertaining, but a missed opportunity. I've been ranting about that for ages, so yeah, you want to buckle in for that. This is possibly going to be a really disjointed one because um, my thoughts are all over the place right now and kind of scattered. It's kind of like a... Did I just pull a jib when I did that? This is kind of like a, you know, a random outpouring of um, pissed offeredness. Don't you hate that though when you weekend... There's a drone over there. Don't you hate that when you weekend is you've got it all planned out and everything's going to be awesome and you aren't even a quarter of the way through it when the wheels all fall off and then it's just a stupid weekend that you spend on the settee and I would have spent just eating Domino's just ramming those pepperoni slices into my chubby cheeks so um, I didn't do that which I may have said already or I may say later because like I say the editing is going to be all kinds of crazy on this one <laughs> so this is the, um, the new Panasonic Lumix G7 um, I haven't really spent much time playing with it yet, so this is the first uh, recording with it. I'm just seeing how it goes, and I'm using the built-in microphone. Um, I will switch over to the uh, the rifle mic as soon as I can. But uh, yeah, hopefully this this works out quite nicely. It's um, it's an easier camera to mount than the um, previous camcorder because it's a smaller camera um, but it also records in 4K and continuous 4K like the camcorder so fingers crossed. So it's been a shitty shitty day today I was really hoping to have put a, a £4 uh, weight loss progress update this morning and then I had one of those days where I didn't actually have a loss. In fact, I gained like a few pounds from somewhere. Which is, the, just sucks. And the thing is, even though I know it's almost certainly water retention of some kind and it's not a real weight gain, because last night I had um, a cheat meal, it doesn't, I don't know, it just it just absolutely blows me off, off track. Um, so, but you know what, you know, I haven't done normally in the past this sort of thing would just absolutely knock the wheels off. I'd be eating pizza and just feeling absolutely crappy about myself. Well, I still feel crappy about myself, but I haven't gone berserk with pizzas and things, so. In fact, I haven't eaten at all today, <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is almost as bad. But, um, so, you know, I'm just going to suck it down. Um, I made the mistake of posting about it on Facebook, which then immediately meant about a hundred people told me that my plan was shit and that I had to do their plan instead. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> I'm trying to be honest about this whole journey and um, I'm sticking to the plan that I'm on. I, I believe in the plan, but I don't believe in it myself at the moment. And I need, you know, some results that's all I just need to be, be consistent and I need to be able to look back at things and say ah oh, yes I can clearly see this is what caused that I know there are times when it's not always going to be you know linear and that obvious but you know I'm not I'm not interested in hopping around and trying different plans and try this try that the science of weight loss has been pretty well documented some things will look better for others, so, you know, uh, I just need that confidence in myself. I need to get a few stone off, I need to get down to 
there's a number in my head I need to get to and then I'll start to believe it and I've been overweight for such a long time that um, I mean literally forever well figuratively forever I don't I don't know what it feels like I don't know what it's like to not be massively overweight so it's very hard for me to visualize that and believe that I ever actually get there and with this new plan, I've had moments, I've had glimmers, but more than glimmers, I've had, you know, I've started to have the belief that I'm going to get there. But that's still quite fragile and it doesn't take much to um, knock me off track. So, you know, I'm sticking with it. But days today, like today, suck. I mean, they really, really suck. I haven't even been to the gym today, I just I haven't wanted to do anything. So. But hey, tomorrow's another day. <sighs> so, I was my trust yesterday, and then today, fuck me! <laughs> Come on! So, uh, I went to see um, Suicide Squad last night with my friend Claire, and um, yeah, I was so disappointed. And, and here's the thing, okay? I was entertained, but only because of, of um, Deadshot and Harley Quinn. The other characters serve no purpose. They, they just don't do anything. They add nothing to the show. Um, and while it starts off really well, Act One, when it introduces, well, <laughs> even that, it only actually introduces two of the characters with any backstory. And it just sort of says, oh, it's ambulance. And it just sort of says, you know, um, Will Smith and uh, um, Harley Quinn and Deadshot, and then all the others. It just mentions them in like a paragraph. So, you know, the film is called Suicide Squad, but it's not, it's Harley Quinn, Deadshot and Chums. And even then, after introducing them with quite a funny start you know they, they they get together and they introduce the team is introduced to each other um and you're introduced to the villain who is awful by the way absolutely the worst villains <laughs> oh they're so bad they're so lame um honestly um fantastic four was better i know right um and then nothing happens. So there's this first act where the characters are getting their equipment back and they get their mojo on and they think, oh, this is going to be great. And then it's not. Nothing happens. Bit of a spoiler. Act two is a generic, you've seen act two like so many times before. Go to a place, do a thing, everything's fine. Oh no, it's not. Change of plan. Uh oh, we're all going to die. Oh, but it's okay in the end. It's like, fuck off. You've seen it so many times, so many times. It brings nothing new to the table. Combined with the fact that the majority of the Suicide Squad do absolutely nothing to contribute to this. Seriously, they go with a bunch of SEALs and Special Forces people. Uh, and normally those are sort of, you know, the, the, um, the, the fodder that will all get killed off, leaving only the heroes by the end. I guess, but... The, 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 the Navy SEALs do pretty much the same as Suicide Squad do. They're just a... Oh man, what a waste. Um, Katana, I love that character. Doesn't, doesn't really do anything. Boomerang. They introduce Boomerang and say, like, Oh yeah, he's got these mad boomerang skills. He then shows his mad skills by throwing a boomerang at a guy. And he doesn't even come back. Dude, that's not a boomerang. That's a stick. Honestly... <laughs> I, Killer Croc, okay, Killer Croc's actually quite good and he's got a really funny line in the bar scene which made me lol. Um, yeah, lol, I know. Um, but yeah, nothing. And then the villains, okay, they all they do for the film is stand around with this like evil fog machine that lightnings the world randomly in various places and just stand there. And they've so sexualized. I mean, she's like she's like this goddess. Now, in the in the comic, I didn't even know it was the same character at first. They've they've, they've trashed the enchantress. 
Now in the comic, if you've read the original Suicide Squad, you're gonna think, oh, Enchantress, she's awesome, she's, she's insane, and she's really funny. And like Suicide Squad have to do these, you know, really risky things to get her back into the host body, into, um, uh, I've forgotten the name, uh, Moon. No, none of that in this. She's just mediocre, a bit dull, and the way that she has to turn people into her evil minions is by snogging them a bit. Fuck off. Honestly, I'm so annoyed. And then her brother, who's like, um, uh, I forget his character's name, he's also in the comic. He doesn't really accomplish anything other than stomping around with his weird tentacle arms. And you know that forced 3D effect that they, that they do, in, usually in films involving hamsters or something? Well, they do those forced 3D effects where it's all ooh in your face. Just pissed me off. Now, look, the film is worth watching because of Deadshot and because of Harley Quinn. Those characters are brilliant, they're funny. You know, watch them. Don't expect to be entertained by anything else that happens, though. Even Flag, who's quite a good character in the comics. Dull. Generic guy dull just and his whole relationship thing and the plot I won't even honestly I mean the story is, is bad enough with the trope but the, but the editing like really early on in the film they say oh there's, a, there's an event let's send I know let's just send one of the suicide they've got this whole squad has been signed off it's a done deal okay they just send one enchantress, and it turns out oh, it's, it's, a, it's a cunning. Uh, um, it wasn't really, a, uh, you know, a mission. We were just going to double cross you, and ha ha, lol. Fools. Why would they do that? They just had the whole squad signed off. Let's do that, and then the actual plot to go to rescue a mystery person. I won't tell you who it is, but honestly, you're going to be like, oh yeah, this is this is probably who that is, and it and it turns out that it is. It wasn't even subtle how, you know, um, the, the twist was going to be, and then these big, you know, this, as, as if there's gaps in the script, okay? These villains are making this machine to take over the world or whatever, and Suicide Squad have been put together because of metahumans, because of evil, evil enemies like Superman that normal soldiers and bullets can't defeat. So they send in Suicide Squad, you would think, to go and tackle the enemies, these, these meta-humans, right? No, no, just to go and rescue somebody and then go home again. And then afterwards they think, oh, maybe we'll go and tackle these enemies too, you know, because you know, they're all evil and shit. And then they get there with no plan. Their plan is to use the seals to put a bomb under them. Well, well what do they need Suicide Squad for at all then? Because, you know, seals. And then they have this, like, Final Fantasy sort of fight where they all take turns one at a time to fight the evil baddie. It's like a role-playing game, and it's all in slow motion, and it's even got a moment at the end. Fucking hell, honestly. Nothing happens for the entire second act, and you're hoping in the third act good shit will happen, and it doesn't. So disappointing. So disappointing. Honestly, when, a, when one of the very best bits of the film, literally like the third or fourth favourite bit in the film, is a teeny tiny appearance from Batman. You know you've got a bad film on your hands. And I think my understanding, and I could be wrong, is that they heavily re-edited the film to make it funnier. And to do that, they just added more of Deadpool and more of Harley Quinn because those two characters are fantastic. Honestly, very, very watchable. Loved watching them. But the result of adding entertainment from just two characters means that everything else is a bit pop. So, um, yeah, in fact, that pretty much sums up how I feel about... Not Deadpool, sorry, Deadpool is awesome. How I feel about Suicide Squad. It's a bit pop. There you go. And, and, and just to finish off on this, people are saying, oh, everyone's expecting a Chris Nolan epic. I'm not. Didn't particularly like Chris Nolan's films, if I'm honest. They were all right. They went on a bit, you know. He's like not some film sire. He's up his own ass and a bit too serious, if you ask me. I don't know why so serious. Um, so I wasn't expecting 
a Chris Nolan film. I was just expecting a fun film. Uh, normally, with in ensemble films like this, when you know the Dirty Dozen or uh, Marvel films, you know um, Captain America just now. All of the characters have a thing, they have a purpose to be in the film. Even if it's only small, and even if sometimes it's a bit obvious that they've written a bit just for the character to have its time in the sun. Spider-Man, Ant-Man, they didn't really serve much in the, the big picture, but they had their moment in the big fight scenes, and that was rewarding and fun, and you know. Um, and they had all of the characters in Marvel films have, you know, terrific character development. Look at how Tony Stark has gone from being an alcoholic, you know, a wealthy billionaire military supplier to where he's got to now, you know. So, you know, you don't need, you can be quite simplistic, you can be soap opera levels of character development, but just let the characters do something. And Suicide Squad fails to do that. It, it, most of its characters, they just have no purpose in the film. It's not Suicide Squad. It's just, it's just something else. And it made me sad. Entertained but sad. I laughed. The laughs all the way through it, but only from two characters. And briefly from uh, Killer Croc. So there you go. Um, even the special effects weren't that great. The, I mean, the, there's um, a fight between two big characters at the end. And um, it's, it's so, it's so CGI. And for all the talk that they were giving about how amazing the effects were going to be in this. Is that right? <laughs> it wasn't, and, and I hate to use Marvel films, you know, Disney Marvel films as a direct comparison, but their effects are kind of seamless. They don't scream special effects at you. They just, they just, you know, part of the narrative. Whereas in this, it kind of felt like you were going effects time. Stand back in awe with the forced 3D effects and the, you know, the big CGI uh, characters having a scrap and. Kind of remind me of when um, the, the hunter thing, you know, in the first Thor film was a bit, you know, a bit effects heavy. It's kind of like that. It's just a bit. Yeah. So, yeah, a bit pop. Sorry, guys. It's a waste. DC need to pull it together. I really, really, really hope Justice League, which to be fair, looks great. And I hope we see a Ben Affleck Batman, because I think that will be great. But um, they're just lost at the moment. I don't know what direction they're going in. Oh, I tell you what was good actually. Uh, fairly early on, there's a very, very brief snippet of Flash turning up, and he looked fantastic. He looked great. He, he, I don't, I'm not even sure if he had a line, to be honest. But um, yeah, that worked. So that we you know, maybe Justice League will pull all this together. But um, oh, they have so much work to do right now. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head home now and um, have something to eat, because I am actually quite hungry, even though I haven't eaten all day. Well, no, actually, probably because I haven't eaten all day, because I'm mardy and moody because of this damn weight gain. And I know it's not real, I know it's not. You know, it's not possible that 800 calories of, of, of cheeseburger without the bread can be converted into three pounds of fat. Energy just doesn't work that way. Einstein would bitch slap me. It's a funny thing. I'm actually in a better mood now. It seems that um, ranting to you, <laughs> a camera strapped to my windscreen, has kind of made me feel better, as if um, just vocalising how I feel, putting everything out there, seems to um, kind of like therapy. How fucked am I? Therapy is talking to a, a camera stuck to my windscreen that nobody may even watch. I need some pills. I haven't even got a Red Bull. Fuck my life. Sorry guys, sorry for this being a kind of ranty, moody, miserable um, whine of a post. <laughs> post, video blog, when I was really only intending to um, test my new camera out. So yeah, that's what happens. Buy a new camera, become miserable as fuck. So uh, yeah, okay guys, well, uh, see you all later.